you learn how to configure these things, you may find that instead of relying on PHP MyAdmin to administer your databases and, and create them and configure them, you might find that you're more inclined to use the MySQL command line because you know it may be faster and more efficient for you, and you'll learn how to um, type out these queries and run them. But for now, it's it's good that you know you can see what the what query created the task that you just requested, and it's also a nice way of learning the language, um, you know, the elementary, the basics of the language. So we've created this database. If I come back to server localhost, you can see now that I have these three databases here. And what's in parentheses there is the number of tables. Now our database is brand spanking new. We haven't put any tables in it. And at this point, we're probably not going to um, just because we're just kind of looking at the very basics. Um, the next thing, whenever you create a database, you want to associate users with it. Now by default, PHP, my admin, by default, um, when you install WAMP server, um, a root user is created. And this root user has all privileges um, and all administrative and, and just, you know, the whole gamut of all privileges. And that user has no password. Now you have the option to change that and, and create a password, and we might do that at a future date. But at this point, we're not really going to worry about um, giving that, that user a password um, because we're developing locally. There are no security issues. We're just kind of playing around and learning how to do this. But if you're working on a remote server, you definitely want to change that user's password. Um, now, if I come to test and, and, you know, I have this database open, if I go to privileges, you can see that it tells me the users that have access to my database and what privileges they have. So there's the root user, and the root user has all privileges in this database. Now, say, I w what if I want to not use my root user? What if I, I want to create another user um, to have access to this database and then use that user for development, just for security purposes, kind of like... Um, you know, you want to save the root user for doing like major maintenance stuff and, and you want an administrative user that you can use for stuff that you're doing with this particular database and, and so that if anything goes wrong, you don't accidentally mess up with your root user. So I'm going to go back to server localhost and I'm going to go to privileges and I'm going to create a new user. Now I could have done this under test, but I just kind of want to show you the just generic way to do it. So I'm going to add a new user. I'm going to call this user Mary. And I'm going to just use a text field. And I want um, this user to be assigned to the local host. And I'm going to give a password. Just simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Now, of course, there's the option to generate a password, which is gives you like kind of a nice long um, randomized password, but just for purposes of what I'm doing right now, a simple password will be fine. And then database for user, I'm going to just kind of leave that as none for now. And I'm going to check all for now. And I can always come back and just remove some of these options. But for now, I'm just going to give this user all privileges. Um, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to give this user no privileges, all right? I just want this user to have access to just that one database. So I'm not going to give them any global privileges over the entire um, setup that I have here, over the entire server, all right? And then I'm going to say go and create that user. Okay, so I've created user Mary at localhost, identified by that password, and I've not granted any usage um, or anything like that. So now if I come back to test and I go to privileges, see my, u my new user doesn't appear. My new user doesn't appear there. So let's go back right here and I'm going to go back here to privileges and I'm going to edit my user Mary and I'm going to say down here that I'm going to add privileges on the database test. Okay, and now it asks me database specific privileges. Which ones do I want to give Mary on this database? So I'm going to check all, and I'm going to say go. And now it says grant all privileges on the database, which is test, to Mary at localhost with grant options. So if I now come back to test, and I look at privileges. You can see now that Mary, a local host, 
has database specific privileges, all privileges, okay? So the user root has global privileges. So root has access to everything on my server setup, but Mary has access to only the test database. And, and that's, that's, that's kind of a security thing, which is pretty cool. And like I said, you really don't need to worry about this in a local environment. You could just go right ahead and, and just use root. But for purposes of just developing good habits, it's nice to kind of learn how to do different users because on a remote environment, you don't want to necessarily have your root user having access to everything because um, you, know, I mean, you don't want to use your root user for purposes of, of specific databases because you might want to grant access to other people without having them have access to your root account. Um, I hope that makes sense. I kind of fumbled a little there. So that's um, kind of just part two, sort of navigating PHP my admin. And there's a lot of other stuff you can do. Um, and, and we're going to go further and further into this. But one other thing is if, if you're done with your database and, and, and you know you, you, or you mess up and you want to do something new, you can always delete that database by simply clicking drop. And if I do that, it's going to ask, say you're about to destroy a complete database, do you really want to drop? And I say, okay. And now if I come back here into PHP my admin, you see I only have the two databases. I have created um, the database test. I assigned a user to it and then I drop that database. It no longer exists. And if I go to privileges, you'll see that my user, Mary, still exists, has, still has no privileges to anything else. And so I can use this user, and I will use this user in, in the next projects that we're going to do um, as we continue to explore kind of the basics of, of, of working in your local environment. So I hope that this screencast has been helpful. In the next installment, um, we're going to actually go ahead and install um, a script and kind of play with it and, and, and see how this comes together, working with PHP my admin and, and setting up different projects on your local host. So I hope that this has been helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments um, at the coding pad and I will respond and I'll be happy to um, take any requests for any um, basic tutorials, the anything that you need to learn that will sort of help you lower the, um, like I said, lower the barrier to entry in learning how to work with these technologies. So thank you for hanging in there with me and um, see you the next time.